4-0, very lucky, last round. Let's do this. All right, we have a sleight of hand. We don't have anything else, but we have a sleight of hand. Uh, so I'm going to go fetch a basic island. Maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to get steam vents because of uh, Bedlam Reveler, that thing. Don't know what my opponent's playing yet. They're mulliganing, though. All I know is that I don't want to play Watery Grave on turn one. There's no point. How is this deck better than Suicide Zoo? I'm curious. I guess it has cantrips and whatnot instead of just, like, actual cyclers, but that Shadow Zoo seems really good. I've determined we need more Bloodstained Myers. I would say Bolt is good against most decks, especially most decks that mulligan. But we need to find a threat, so this is what we're up to. I'm going to probe first so we know what we're working with here. More of this, huh? I don't even know why I need to know it's in your hand, but... Alright. Kiln Fiend and a thing in the ice. Alright. So, Kiln Fiend is definitely just going to kill the hell out of my opponent. So, we don't need this thing. So, we're a little slow. Only a turn 4 kill. Uh, but I think that's that's going to get the job done here. My opponent peeled a Neonate. Unbelievable. Fun believable. And has a bunch of conflagrates. So that's going to take up their turn next turn, but we have the blessing. It is fun believable. Your turn. Elemental Beast. It traps an explosion within its stony skin. You're dead, bro. D E D dead. P Dunaway eighty seven. I just assume your first name is Paul. I don't know why. See, I could I could do literally anything to that. I could mutagenic growth. I am just gonna blessing because blessing is pretty rancid. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll pro red and then we'll kill you. How's that sound? Gotta not mess up this turn. Gotta add some red mana. That lightning bolt seems completely unnecessary. Humph. All right, so now we kind of know how to sideboard. Uh, the songs, yeah, whatever. And do we want these Snaggletooths? One, perhaps. I said we knew how to sideboard, but I lied. We, we really don't. That's okay, though. Who cares? Who cares? Oh, man. What a delight this video has been.
All right, this hand, we're going to have to mulligan. This hand, we're going to have to keep, but I'm not happy about it. Do get to bottom that delta, though. Definitely don't need that one. We supposed to probe on one? I don't think so. Could find us a cantrip or a swan song, so maybe we should have, because that's eight cards. And if they tormenting voice here, it's going to be pretty annoying. If they loam here, it is less annoying. All right, let's go. Troll. Ooh, lightning axe. All right. Okay. Okay, how do we beat the axe? I think we just might have to let it happen. We don't want to do it now, though, because our opponent could do it in the upkeep and discard their troll. So what does that mean? Does that mean we cycle Manamorphose and just pass? That seems not great. I, so I could go Cantrip Cantrip, or I could draw Swift Spear, which would be good. Yeah, see, I don't need. I, uh. All right. Oh, you forgot to axe it. You forgot to axe it. Perhaps didn't have an upkeep stop set, my friend. All right, you have a stomping ground and a mountain. I really want to get you with my mutagenic growth, not going to lie, but no idea if you played around it or if you just forgot. I feel like it went to draw step pretty quickly. What is this? Ooh, ooh, this is nice. This is, this is not bad. Kind of in the trap though. The old thing in the ice, Kiln Fiend, dis-synergy. The ices have been decent. They've not been great, but they've been decent. <clears throat> nice to have a different angle. Man, I kind of want like Thought Scour too. That might just be too much do nothing, but maybe it's better than Sleight of Hand. Then I could sideboard like Tassiger or something. That'd be cool. Not very good with Bedlam Reveler though, so I take that back. I retract that statement. Okay, hard casting of prized amalgams is allowed. Tilt, get back in that graveyard. Take your four damage. No idea if that's right or not. Probably isn't. So our hand is Troll Blood Gas Loam, is that right? Getting back a singular gemstone mine. I think I can allow that. They're going to cast a blood gas off it, but that doesn't really matter. So, I suppose we block. Oh, oh, I see. They're scared. They're scared of my Kiln Fiend nickel and diming. Well, you should not be scared, friendo. 
You should not be scared. I mean, granted, I could kill you from, from 16 pretty easily if I just draw, like, a Serum Visions or a Sleight of Hand. But, realistically, yeah, Scalding Tarn. See? I, I just didn't even... I didn't draw anything. I just missed out on two points. All right, it's time for the graveyards to come out. This one is getting big enough. I kind of want to save the looting. Or save the swan song. I mean, maybe I want to cast it on their looting, but... I mean, I definitely want to cast it on their looting. I don't want them to loot. This just means I need to draw a spell. And if my spell is Battle Rage, that's cool. That is cool. Question is, do I block the Amalgam? I don't think so. Oh, so now you attack, because you have Birdie. You have Birdie on D. Oh, look at look at how few lands I have. And how many hitful hits. <clears throat> I don't think I block. I think I just if I do draw a spell, I want to recast my kiln fiend, so. I can go to seven. Seven's okay. It's not the danger zone. Let's do it. Let's just draw a spell. Or like a reveler. A reveler would also be acceptable, probably. Let's go! Oh, I was going to cover my screen, but I, I I looked at it. Fang. Err, err. Ooh, Serum Visions. Oh, wow. That's, that's a Battle Rage. All right, so Manamorph was on top. Kiln Feet out. I don't think I want to put him to two. Although maybe I, I do want to. Puts him to nine. So three blood gas, amalgam, troll loam? I should know their hand. I'm stupid. Stomping ground? Was that this game? No, that's in play. Maybe that wasn't. No, I don't even think that was this game. How are they going to win? What are they going to do? They're going to try and cast an Amalgam. Loan back a Mana Confluence or something. But if I just pummel them, then I have two lethal threats. Yeah, let's pummel them. Get in there, Awoken Horror. Let's do this. Two life and go. Ooh, Narcomiba, that's good. That is a good start. That is a good start. We have Manamorphos on top, though. We have Redraws. So what if my opponent was at 7 higher life? They'd be at 9? If I had Battle Rage for the Kiln Fiend, that would just be lethal. But, yeah, I probably should not have Battle Raged. I don't know. I forgot about Narc Amoeba. There's the Conflagrate. That's kind of what I was worried about, though. It was just, like, hitting them to 9 and then them Conflagrating, like, my Kiln Fiend. But then I still have Battle Rage Awoken Horse. Yeah, I should have saved the Battle Rage for sure. I don't know if they have enough mana to do all the stuff that they want to do, though. <clears throat> they do have two Narc Amoebas, which is a pain. We're getting back a lot of Amalgams. Oh, if I save Battle Rage, this game would be over, though. <clears throat> bad times, bad times. Oh, and I have to block because otherwise they can conflagrate my face. 
Okay, okay. So now I have to remove two Narc Amoebas. Or deal two damage. I could deal two damage. That's within my range. Realistically, I should have just saved the Battle Rage and then, you know, this would be fine. Everything would be fine. Sorry for the shuffling. The game is tense. I need, I need something. I need to not mess up. But that ship has sailed. Ah! Oh, I'm so lucky. Never punished. Oh man, this might be the luckiest I've ever been in one of these videos. It certainly helps when you have a deck where you're always drawing live though. Look at, look at this, all these riches. Ooh, new qualifier points. All right. 